Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the things that I've picked up uh, throughout the last couple of weeks. I've been really busy with work and so I haven't had a chance to actually like sit down and film. So I do have a couple of things that have like piled up over to the side that I'm going to be filming. So I'll be doing several films tonight. Uh, I'm putting them out over the next couple of days. So if you guys notice I'm wearing the same shirt in like the next six videos, please forgive me. Um, but anyway, tonight's video is going to be a quick little pop haul video. Uh, featuring some things that I've picked up online and in stores and a few things that a couple of my friends have picked up. The first thing I'm going to show you tonight, or today rather, whatever time you're watching, um, is this three pack that I picked up from Walmart. Um, and this has Biggs Dark Lighter, Wedge and Tilly's, and Jack Porkins. I, um, I'm going to take these out so you guys can actually see the detail on them. But I was, um, I was on Instagram and I saw someone had posted about uh, Walmart putting a lot of their pops on rollback, which is essentially clearance. And I've had a gift card for ages, and so I decided to go on there and see if there was anything I, could, I liked. And um, aside from this, I also picked up uh, two Stan Lees and a Martian Manhunter, which I'm just waiting to come, waiting on to, to come in. Um, <clears throat> but to take these out and show you, the first one here um, is Big's Dark Lighter. Get you a good little shot here. There we go. Uh, you can see that they have a lot of detail in the suits as well as in the helmet here. Um, and the helmets are supposed to look like as accurate to the film as, as the helmets can. Uh, they all also have this little logo right here on their on their chest, which is for the um, rebellion, which I think is really cool. The next one here we have is Wedge and Tilly's. Um, now, they also made a Walgreens exclusive wedge where he is in the uh, snow speeder, which so far I've not actually been able to pick up. Uh, I have the hardest time finding things from Target and Walgreens. Uh, though, my mom did tell me a couple weeks ago that she was in Walgreens and she picked something up for me. So hopefully that will be coming in soon. Um, she had surgery, so she's you know, recouping and no rush mom. Uh, and then the last one is this guy right here. Jack Porkins. Again, show you all laying around. And then the helmet. Now I am a little sad. Um, as you can see the, uh, maybe if it'll, if it'll focus here, uh, the base of this is really smudged. And the front of the box actually has a pretty good rip on it as well. Um, otherwise, I'm really happy with these pops. I paid eight or nine dollars, and that's including shipping to have them shipped here to the house um, for three pops. That's that's amazing. It makes them like three bucks a piece. Um, now, the next thing I have um, is from the Lord of the Rings set, and this is the uh, Chase Frodo. Now, I actually did not pick this up myself. Uh, one of my really good friends picked this up for me, so uh, thank you, Marky. Um, Marky is a is a really good friend of mine. He's a pop hunter as well and collector. Um, and he's just, he has a massive knowledge on everything. But he comes in to the store all the time and we've become friends and he helped me find this. And the next thing I have to show you is also from Lord of the Rings and it's also a chase. Um, and this is the uh, Gollum chase from Wave 2 of Lord of the Rings. And another one of my really good friends actually picked this up for me and... Um, his name is John, so thank you, John, for, for picking this up. John actually also picked up something else that I'm going to show you in just a moment uh, for me today, actually, uh, because I was not able to, to pick them up when they came out. Um, now, I did do a little bit of hunting when I got off work today, and I went into FYE because I heard that they had gotten in a lot of pops, and I was hoping for some chases. And so the first thing I picked up today, actually, uh, is the... Black Panther Chase. Now, I already have the Killmonger Chase and most of the commons. The only ones I think I'm missing are the Target and Walmart exclusives now. Um, and then I'll have the entire set as well. And then, in case you guys don't know, if I can get this to focus in here, maybe. There we go. Um, these are all of the commons. I think, oh, I also don't have a Koye, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. Uh, but Marky also told me about this one. Uh, but the next pop I picked up, I also picked up at FYE, and this is a chase. And guys, I know this sounds like a lot of chases. I normally don't. 
uh, go for chases. I've just actually been finding ones that I've, I've wanted to add to the collection, so I'm getting really lucky here. Uh, but the next one I picked up is the um, Luke Skywalker chase. Now, uh, this is different from the original and that the original is supposed to be Leia on the speeder instead of, of Luke. Uh, but what's really cool about this, and it's, it's kind of hard to tell, so I'm going to take it out of the box for you guys. Um, really quick and throw it right back in because it's Chase. Um, maybe. This is in here pretty good, actually. Let's see. Here. So, I was noticing um, that on this pop, Luke's uh, right hand is actually gloved and black, um, which is indicative of him having lost his hand uh, in the fight with his dad. Now, um, this pop also... Sorry guys. Uh, this pop also um, has Luke's blonde hair sticking out the back. Uh, now the one with Leia, if I'm not mistaken, either has her brown hair in the back or a little bit of white um, as if she's wearing something. Uh, but this pop's really cool. I have this chase now and then um, I just got in the March uh, Smuggler's Bounty Box. So as you can see like right here behind me, I also have... Um, the Stormtrooper on speeder, which if you guys haven't watched the video, I'll put a link right here in the cards or on the side, whichever side it pops up on, uh, so that you guys can watch that video as well. Now, the rest of the things that I picked up um, are from Box Lunch, and the first thing I picked up, which I picked this up last week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is the Unmasked Iron Spider, and this is, of course, is the Box Lunch exclusive. Um... I'm also going to be picking up, hopefully soon, the Iron Man uh, Unmasked from FYA. I have pre-ordered it, and I know they've come in, and I probably should have picked it up today. It just it slipped my mind until I got home, uh, but I'll pick it up later this week, and I'll show you guys that when I get it as well. Uh, this one's really cool. So this has um, Peter Parker's head on top of the Iron Spider um, suit, and this is the exact same pose that the Common is in, uh, which is going to be right here. Uh, he just, of course, is unmasked. I um, I now have the Hulkbuster, this one, and Black Widow. I missed getting a 10-inch Thanos today, which I'm really sad about. I uh, did go by Target, and the person in front of me grabbed the last one. But that's okay. I really don't have room for the 10-inch, and it's better that I don't have it. Uh, <laughs> but the last thing, uh, moving on to the last thing that I picked up today... Um, which this is the thing that I mentioned earlier that John also picked up for me today. Uh, and that is the two pack go 10, um, and trunks in their fusion dance, which, uh, this came out today. Um, I know it went live on the box lunch website and Funimation also, uh, sold it, but it sold out almost immediately. And I know that the store that I work at had like 35 or 40, and we sold out today as well. So thank you, John, for picking this one up for me. Uh, he grabbed two or three, actually, one for himself, one for one of our other friends. And then he grabbed one for me just in case I wasn't able to buy one today before we closed, uh, which I was not because we sold out. But I'm really excited about this one. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, Galactic Toys also just um, announced that they have another... Um, Dragon Ball Z exclusive pop that they are going to be taking pre-orders for, which it doesn't come out until June or July. Um, but if I can find a picture for it, I'll, uh, I'll put it here on the screen. If not, I will definitely uh, leave a link in the description below so you guys can see that. They also are combining this with the orange suit Goku on Nimbus and their exclusive uh, Shenron which you can get all three for like 80 bucks, I think. And I'm thinking I may do that because I actually need all three as well. Um, but yeah, guys, so this was just a quick little video about what I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Um, again, I'm going to be doing a lot of filming tonight, so ignore the pink shirt in the next six videos. Uh, but thank you guys for watching tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit uh, the like button down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, I'm getting close to 100 subs, and at 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing my first giveaway, uh, which when that gets closer, I'll be putting a video up. But if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so I can get to 100 subs and give you guys some awesome pops. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.